Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about clinical audit. Are we singing this song in the right way? This is just a question to simplify the meaning of an audit. Clinical audit is a quality improvement process used by health professionals to assess, evaluate, improve the care of patients. Purpose of clinical audits is, to, is the improvement of the care of patients in a systematic way. It forms a part of clinical governance which aims to safeguard a high quality of clinical care for patients. Audit measures the current practice against a defined standard. Audit asks a question. Are we actually doing what we believe is the right thing and in the right way? Are we singing this song in the right way? In audit, the performance is being reviewed or audited to make sure that what, we sh what should be done is being done. If not, it provides a framework for improvement to be made. Is audit a research? Research is a systematic approach to answer a question or solve a problem in order to generate a new or validate existing knowledge. The question in research will be, what should we be doing? Are we singing the right song? Notice the difference between the two questions. Are we singing this song right? This is audit. While in research, we ask, are we singing the right song? The comparison between clinical audit and research. In audit, it tests the care given against the knowledge gained from research. In research, it creates a new knowledge or validates an existing one. In audit, it measures against standards, while in research, it is based on a hypothesis. In audit, no patient experiments, patient, just patient notes and surveys. While in research, it may involve experiments on patients and it may require, it may require ethical approval. In clinical audit, never involves random allocation. While in research, it may involve random allocation. In clinical audit, Relatively a small number of patients over a short time span, while in research, large scale of patients over a prolonged period. In audit, this is different methodology and less need to statistical test. While in research, we have rigorous methodology and statistical test. In clinical audit, results are relevant locally and can be published, while in research, results are generalized and should be published. So, the answer of our question is no, audit is not a research. Audit can be used to evaluate various aspects of patient care, like structure of care, process of care, and the outcome of care. An example of structure of care is the availability of a smoking cessation clinic in a locality, while in the process of care, like waiting times for an appointment at the smoking cessation clinic. In the outcome of care example, the number of smokers who quit smoking for one year. Audit should be transparent and non-judgmental this information can then be used to plan improvement in the service. It isn't intended to cause confrontation or blame. So 
how to make an audit first thing we have to choose a topic then we have the audit cycle and then we have to repeat the cycle audit cycle is composed of set stage one set criteria and define standards to be reviewed stage two collecting data stage three comparing criteria against the standards stage four implementing the change stage five maintain the improvement and then repeat the cycle so when we choose a topic it should be a high priority for your organization like areas of high volume of work high risks high costs of care and an area identified as priority by patients identify available resources like a local audit led or office existing guideline defining desired standard for the topic you have chosen after you choose a topic what comes next you have to start the audit cycle set criteria and define standard criteria are definable measurable item of health care that describes quality and which can be used to assess it criteria should be evidence-based wherever possible it's often best expressed as a statement for example all patients with coronary heart disease should have had their lipids checked annually while standard describes the level of care to be achieved for any particular criterion in the above uh, scenario it might be 80 percent in this scenario it is can be 80 percent while for more ba uh, for other patient with chest pain reaching hospital within a set time higher standard may be appropriate we may need 100 percent so standard usually a target and written in percentage may be a minimum standard or an optimal one depending on the clinical scenario an advice on setting criteria and defining standards we have three options to choose standards a minimum standard which is the lowest acceptable standard of performance an ideal standard the care it should be possible to give under ideal condition with no constraints and an optimum standard lies between the minimum and the ideal so make an ambiguous statement when writing your standard and criteria refer to the literature indicating current practice and guidelines choose criteria and standard in line with current practice now we chosen we have chosen a topic we set criteria and define standard what comes next yes it's collecting data identify which data need to be collected identify how and uh, in what form identify who is going to collect them and only collect information that is absolutely essential use computerized records or manual collection maybe retrospective or prospective now after we set criteria and define standard and we have collected data we have to compare criteria against the standards so compare the actual performance with the, with the set standard discuss how will the standard were met and if the standard weren't met note the reason for that if you know and present the result and discuss them with the relevant teams in your organization now we completed three out of five in the audit cycle we have uh, we, we, we have set criteria and defined standard and uh, we have collected data 
and then we compared criteria against standard so what comes next yes it's implementing the change use the results to develop an action plan specify what needs to be done and specify how it will be done and specify who is going to do it and by when now we come uh, we comes to the fifth and the last part of the audit cycle which is maintaining improvement determine whether the action taken have been effective and determine if further improvement are needed and repeat the audit uh, audit target result and discussion hence the term audit cycle or audit spiral so now we have tips for successful audits adequate training and support for all staff involved is needed audits are more likely to be effective where adherence to recommended practice is low choose a topic with a high priority enlist support for your or from your organization and use a team approach and allow sufficient time good data collection and or IT systems are required set realistic standards optimum rather than ideal that are agreed by the team deliver intensive feedback and consider publishing your audit now we finished our talk but always keep this map in your mind after you choose a topic for audit you have to set criteria and define standard then collect data then compare criteria against standard and then implement the change and maintain improvement and don't forget to repeat the cycle again and again thank you